So I've made probably like 7,000 videos for YouTube. And the hardest part of any video is starting. So I think I've read, and even when it's like, I kind of know what I'm going to do, I still have a hard time starting. But anyway, that's not what you came here to hear. I just let you know how my brain works or doesn't work. Uh, so we're going to be revisiting this, although uh, this Scala set, the, um, what was this? The, uh, the yeah, the, the ice cream place. I was missing two pieces. I think they came in the mail today. We're going to be looking at that. I got a package from Robin Hull that we're going to be looking at. And I got another sealed vintage set that I purchased. I'm a little disappointed with something related to that, but we'll get into that later if I remember. But first of all, let's talk about today's sponsor. Um, it's No Starch Press. They sent me two books. Now, one of them, I got to get these right because they're similar sizes or 20 bucks retail price uh, each. This one is getting started with Lego Mindstorm. So this is learning the basics. So this is not going to be like, oh, they got this model. They're going to show you how to build this one specific model and go into all the step-by-step instructions. This is more about how to use uh, the programming or not even use the programming. And it also is some techniques. I noticed in through the book, they show you things you do and things you shouldn't do, which is good when you're like, when I think when you're building your own mocks, sometimes that's the challenge. You think, okay, I want to build this and I think this is a good way to do it. And then it doesn't function. So when you got moving parts, like with Mindstorms, it's good to know the things you should and shouldn't do, especially with the sensors, you know, making sure they're oriented right and things like that. So it goes into some of the basics like that. So if you're an expert Mindstorm builder, it's probably not for you. Uh, I do wish I was 12 years old again so I could understand uh, the Mindstorms programming. So this kind of gets past some of that. But if you want to get more detailed, there's this other language uh, Python and word blocks. Um, the only thing I know about Python is my next door neighbor, Billy, came over and told the story about how his dad got injured in Nam and he wrote a Python out of the jungle. I think it would have been quicker to drag him out of the jungle, but uh, that it's not that kind of Python. This is a language. I've heard Matt Parker talk about it. It's what he uses to make all his fancy codes for some of his little math uh, videos that he does, but... Um, I like Matt Parker, I stand up maths. <laughs> but anyway, oh, oh, I forgot to mention the same Arthur. Ar, Ar, is, I always have a hard time with that word. Auth, author is not Arthur, it's author. Uh, Barbara Bratzel and Rob Torek, they're, they're the ones that co wrote uh, these. So this goes into Python language and the word, <laughs> what are the word blocks? So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the stuff that's in here, but if you want to learn it, this is the video again. I mean the book, not the video. This isn't the video. so anyway. This is like I say. This video sponsor. They sent me these to talk about them, so I did that. Uh, I'm not being paid, but still, she should have seen a little. You know, they includes paid promotion. Anytime you receive a product for the purposes of doing a video, you know, if somebody sends you a, a friend sends you a gift, like Robin Hull sent me. You don't have to put paid promotion, but if a company sends you something because they're they got a new thing, like. Uh, I, I love that No Starch does this because I, I'm old school. I like books. I know I'd make videos, but I would still love books. And I, I would like to write a book one day, <laughs> uh, but I'm lazy. All right, so let's get to this uh, package from Robin Hull. I hope I don't tear it up. So this was a surprise that came in the mail today. We're going to see what it is. We got a note. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look what it is first. Read the note. Uh, dated 15 September. It says, Dear Jabbo, I thought you may like the enclosed. I'm not sure if the policeman is a London exclusive, but the bulldog is a Leicester Square exclusive. Yeah, and if I, if I didn't know all of our good friends in England, I would be calling it Leicester Square or something like that, but it's Leicester Square. <laughs> so thanks for all you do. Best wishes, Robin and family. So Robin, uh, great uh collector of fabulan and uh, i really like his instagram as well he's got a youtube channel and instagram so uh we got the little bobby 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 um it's not the bobby from um law and order oh that bobby and law and order that's my one of my favorite detectives right up there with colombo um but this is a policeman bobby i've never seen these here i it's one of those bag tags Ooh, it's nice and soft um for your luggage 
So I like I like getting exclusive things, and so we have the exclusive I Love London Bulldog. Oh, I'm a Georgia. You know, I like the Georgia Bulldogs, but it's not that kind of bulldog. The Georgia Bulldogs uh, won the national championship last year. They're going to win it this time, too. Uh, but thank you, Robin. That's a nice surprise to get in the mail. Oh, look, I can even write on the back on it what my name and stuff is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and the reason you need bag tags or some way to mark your luggage in case you don't travel a lot is because sometimes people have the luggage that looks like yours and it can disappear if you're not careful. So it's good to have a tag so you can tell your blue suitcase from the other blue suitcases. Is... All right, so let's do this. Uh, I'm going to do this package next. And I didn't bring my cutters. Well, I got Stanley. Stanley number one, or is it number two? I don't know. Oh, I should mention, we have a new, um, we got the new member, Jello John. Apparently, um, BFAB left and came back. So thank you, brother, from another brick. Again, memberships, totally optional. I appreciate the support. There's minimal perks. <laughs> I'm a terrible salesman, but you get early access to videos like this. And I do do, do, do. I said do do. You don't really have to say I do do. You just say I do. <laughs> I do occasionally have um, videos that are exclusively for members only. And then as if you're at the A4 or ZAR level. And the ZAR level, we do live streams. And we do attempt to do the uh, A4 podcast live. With, so as ones like uh, DadBot and Godzilla Firebox have joined us there when we have filmed it, uh, the A4 podcast. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to get better. But again... It's not going to change the content that you see here, and I appreciate the support of ones uh, through that. Even Robin Hull is a, is a member as well. And if, you, if you're a member and you decide not to be, there's no hard feelings. So, uh, But I, I do appreciate. Every little bit helps because I spend too much money on Lego. All right, so this is from Bricklink. And I, the store, I went looking for this item, which was good. So I, I got it, and it was the lowest price of a sealed one on Bricklink, or eBay for that matter. But I had this plan to kind of help recoup the cost. I had I found another sealed set that had an amazing part out value, so I, I purchased it too. And like four days after I placed the order and paid for it, he said, I can't find that other item, which it happens. I'm, I wouldn't leave them negative or even neutral for that because I understand that that can happen, but it was still disappointing. And he, he even said, I hope this is the one that you came to the store for. And it was. And it is this. The Legoland California truck. It is one of the sets that almost isn't complete. There is a roller coaster on this. You know, I, I, bought, I bought this back in the day. I have another sealed copy down there. And the reason I bought... Another sealed copy. You know what? I gotta get mine and see which one's actually the better. This one looks like it's been in the light. The box looks faded, or maybe that's the way the blues look. Ah, but yeah, the Lego Land California truck has something in it that goes with something that goes with a Lego magazine, or is it? No, it's a catalog. It's a catalog. The instructions to build the trailer for the truck, which we did a video on. I got it around here somewhere. I'm looking down. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> It's it's down there somewhere. I should be more prepared when I do these videos, but I'm bricks are. That's what I do. Uh, so my plan is to do a video opening this sealed set. Is, is that something you like to see? Then you better be subscribed. And you don't have to be a member uh, to see that. But uh, I want to open this sealed set. I'm not sure if I'm going to build it because what I think I'm going to do is part of that. Because <laughs> this, this set has some really cool pieces in it that are chrome. So now it has some really high dollar pieces because they're only in the set. This is a limited edition Legoland California truck. Lego made truck. Did I say trick? It's truck. Lego also made a yellow one. The yellow one came first. It's similar style, but it's yellow and black. So yeah, this uh, the plan for that. Uh, disappointed the other item didn't get. He refunded me and all that, so it wasn't wasn't that big a deal. All right, so now for this other thing. This is related to the Scala set that we did a video on. It was uh, one that uh, member DadBod included with my Bricklink order, the Scala ice cream, cool ice cream cafe. I think that's what it was called. So uh, he was not able to find the, uh, 
have the salmon, the salmon, I hate that word, salmon. Like some people don't like the word moist. I don't like the word salmon. Uh, it's hard to say. And similarly, similarly is another word I don't like. I don't like similarly salmon. Similarly salmon. That's <laughs> I'm saying over and over words I don't like. All right. Oh, he used a, he used a box uh, from set 6025. I think that's the track. Yeah. All right. All right. Where are we getting this order? You, you ready to see? We'll start with the sealed stuff. How about that? Yep. It's the uh, track uh, rails. That, it's not actually the rails. It's the center. It's center rail. It's not really a rail. It's the pickups uh, for the 12 volt system. And got a sealed one of those for my sealed box collection. And uh, the, the curve. So basically, you would have taken the this pack and these would have gone in in the middle of that so you can either do 4.5 volt which is the battery operated train or use this and you have the transformer 12 volt uh, train so a couple of sealed boxes you know I'm, i may actually have these already sealed i don't know uh pretty cheap for 40 year old sealed sets <laughs> so uh it's not a it's not like a building or a vehicle so that's why they're they're pretty cheap Another thing I got, this is something I wanted to get a, a long time ago. I think, I think Maniac for Bricks might have shown me something like this before. And it's really kind of useless now. <laughs> but it's a USB flash drive, a massive 16 gig. I remember, I remember when 16 gig was just like, wow, that's really big. Now it's like, that's like a couple of videos of 16 gigs. So, um... Yeah, it's a flash drive, and it's not even that old, I don't think. When did this come out? I don't know, but um, yeah, Lego flash drive. So all of those were extra items. You know, I went to the store to get my salmon balls, and and here they are. All right, first of all, we got a Fabuland basket. That would go for, to the rabbit, I think, and the horse, I think, had this saw. <laughs> uh, we got a green... Um, lime green ish or scala or fabuland green uh, watering bucket and then our two salmon balls i don't even know if you can see those <laughs> one of the worst colors ever so uh, yeah what are the or i think i talked about that when i did this video what are the worst lego colors so i'm going to take these two yeah i'm going to put take the two red ones out and put the two salmon ones in the box and I'm never going to do another video on it again. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do a Scala collection one day. So that set is officially now uh, complete. So there you go. I got one more thing. Bonus. I wasn't even going to do this, but this just came in the mail today. Oh, did I, did I mention the... So I opened this this set to get one piece out of it because I was missing three in my store. I only needed one. Um, I found those three pieces. So I was putting away parts into my store and they were mixed up in another tray. I just... Somehow the two... There were six of them total from three sets that I parted out and they got separated in two groups and I somehow I didn't put all six of them away. Uh, so yeah, I opened this for nothing. But now it's back, it's complete, just opened and one bag opened. All the parts are still new. All right, so I've, I've got this thing now um, where I'm going to be buying Lego. No, I've always been doing that thing. Now, I, there's so many sets out that I really want that they're just so expensive. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to pay that kind of money for Lego, I might as well get stuff that I really want. I mean, I know I may really, really want some of the stuff that's out, like the castle that Technic tow truck that came out a couple years ago, I think. But, and I'm sure there's other things. Uh, a second passenger train so I can have a complete one. But it, that in itself was just like $800 right there. And I, three sets. But I'm like, instead of spending $800 on three sets, why don't I just get old stuff that I've been wanting to get for a while? Oh no, I dropped my other microphone. Yeah, this place is a mess. So, one of the things is this Quattro. Oh, good. It's got that. I, I wasn't even sure if it still had the sticker. All right. So, 
This is set 40, I mean 53, 56. I'm not worried if it's got all the pieces. I just wanted the box and the lid because I think all the pieces that are in this would be in other sets. It may be complete, it may not be complete, but I got the box with the lid. So I'm trying to collect all the, the different Quattro sets that they made. There's not many of them. Uh, the challenge is some of the obscured box sets. And I was following this one and he cut his price in half where to actually where the shipping was more expensive than the actual the item. So yeah, I'm instead and it didn't cost me four hundred dollars. <laughs> it cost me like twenty-five dollars. <laughs> so I know the, the sale price was fifteen or fourteen dollars and then the shipping. So it was not that bad to get it with the box. It's probably something that somebody picked up at Goodwill for three bucks and then they flipped it on eBay. Uh, so yeah, I, I, my strategy is instead of spending $400 on a castle, I'll just wait to see if it goes down and I'll spend my money on stuff I actually want. And again, thank you to No Starch Press for sending us these books if you want them. I'm trying to remember to put a link in the description, but it's No Starch Press. They got a lot of good Lego books. I'll see you guys.